here I am in the F4U C1 uh, <clears throat> in realistic battle. You'll probably notice that uh, half my team dies before I even get to the battle, and that's because they don't go to altitude. <laughs> that's part of the problem with uh, some of the games is uh, get a lot of people who are inexperienced and uh, they fly low. Um, they try to turn fight against fighters. You're just not going to win. Uh, the Spitfire can outturn pretty much every American aircraft there is with the exception of maybe a couple of biplanes and uh, so they get killed really fast and uh, you'll see at the end of this that the only people who survive this battle are the ones who get up to altitude yeah we're still getting there uh, uh, this is a really interesting battle. Most of the time when you go up against the British, nine times out of ten times you die. I mean, your team's going to lose. And that's, like I said, mostly because the inexperience of American pilot players uh, just, uh, you know, they kind of blow it. Trying to turn fight with uh, aircraft that you just can't outturn. They're faster than you and in some cases even have better guns. So we're starting to get close to the battle here and uh, once I get into it here I'll go ahead and let it play out. know anything about American planes you know better than to go head to head with an F4U1C because it has four 20 millimeter cannons and it will just rip your aircraft apart <laughs> So I've just noticed that one of our bases has been destroyed, and I know it's a bomber, obviously, and I'm heading down to look for him. The easiest way to take out a bomber is to take out his 
control surfaces as engines or try to snap his wings. And I actually do all three. <laughs> Lots of fun. take a short burst of this guy and I'll keep flying straight try to, instead of trying to turn in behind him. If I had tried to turn in behind him I would have lost all of my speed and if he had decided to turn on me he would have easily had me. Like here, if I had turned around he would have had me. Because you can see he's already turned pretty much all the way around. And he would have dropped right in behind me and that would have been the end of me. But continuing to fly straight, I keep my speed. And <clears throat> it allows me to put some distance in between us and then I can make my turn and come in and get the kill. Now I took a huge chance there and it paid off. And that was actually the final blow of the game. So it was a good game there. Uh, and uh, it's an unusual win, to be honest with you. Nine times out of ten, like I said, you're going to lose just due to the inexperience of the uh, players on your team. Uh, if you like these videos, I will be continuing to make them. If there's a specific plane that you want to see me fly, uh, let me know down in the comment section. And uh, if you happen to see this video on a, uh, a uh, different site other than YouTube, you may want to follow the link back to YouTube so I can see your message in the comment section. Also, if you'd like to see me fly more from the first person view as opposed to third person view like this, then uh, just let me know that because I can do that too. It's a lot of fun and uh, it's a little more difficult but it uh, makes for uh, a lot cooler videos. So you all have a good one, take care and uh, see you next time. And uh, don't forget to add me on uh, uh, War Thunder and or World of Tanks as uh, I'm uh, a kitchen sink and uh, hope to see you on Bedford. Laters.